It may seem that in order to be successful as an entrepreneur, you've got to have a me-first approach with an ego to match. Ramona Kassovan shows that this isn't necessarily the case, and she believes that young women should share her confidence. There are always smiles for the Happy Days Foundation, which Ramona heads. Hi, I'm Ramona Kassovan. We're out here in Pomolong in Tembisa. We've just helped 500 girls stay in school. We've just created a safe space to talk about everything that's happening to, to these girls, encouraging them to stay in school, becoming women like us, and just being okay with their situations and pushing through and having a vision and doing what we do. Born and bred in KZN, Ramona Kesvan is now based in Josie. And having completed an honours degree in marketing strategy, she spent the last few years putting theory into practice. It isn't a surprise that when you hear the word entrepreneur, you think of business. That makes sense. But it isn't only the entrepreneur who benefits from the business. And to illustrate my point, I'd like to introduce you to Ramona Kassovan. Let's look more. There we go. That's a cool photo. That's a sisterhood. Your job is to smile for happy days. Ramona, to create some context for the viewers, can you give us some background on Happy Days? Happy Days is a locally produced sanitary pad. It's a social enterprise. We created a, a model based on helping women in the communities. This is a business that's here to empower. While it keeps women in school, it keeps women active financially in communities. And together we build a, a sisterhood of empowerment. Ramona has a hands-on approach in heading up the foundation and believes in the power of example. Cool, we're going to go into a strat session um, so we can actually execute these pictures. Why don't you join us? Thank you. Cool. Let's go, ladies. Ramona, how does this concept tie in with previous campaigns and projects of yours? The aim on this campaign is to make them smile and understand that I can start here with this brand for a year. I'll get the credibility that I need and then I can move into other things. It's about training and creating grassroots women entrepreneurs and that's the vision for the business where it becomes sustainable, we make profit, we make uh, change and that's the new um, lingo of the global world. It's a profits for purpose kind of business. So it's a social enterprise on that, on that level. What is your main goal and how are you going about achieving it? I would love to have a, a massive plant that manufactures where women wear pink uniforms and we empower a nation and a continent. That would be the, the main vision, you know, to have a factory that has trucks and has an empire and a plant and we constantly, we have women drivers, we have women security guards, we have women everything. For me, that's the main vision. Ramona began her career as a researcher and marketing manager before launching the foundation and starting her own research and investment consultancy. During this time, she also appeared on radio and TV as a presenter. So where does Ramona Kassovan's story start? People don't know, but I still live on a farm in KZN in Inanda. I grew up there. I had issues that other women faced as well because there were days where there was no electricity or water. Um, I've been blessed that my, my father's a farmer and my mother's an entrepreneur and I grew up with um, the people in the spirit of Ubuntu and that's what's made me a, a businesswoman in South Africa. I love everything about being a farm girl. I, I can, my alter ego and I and my Santa life, it's, it's something that I, my father's constantly like, hey, just don't forget where you came from and, and that's always humbling and you know, I belong barefooted running on the majestic hills of our farm and that's the whole essence of who I am, living my passion every day. You are an extremely passionate and extremely busy woman. How do you relax and unwind? My downtime is going home to my family in KZN. I think traditionally and culturally, the smell of food that I grew up with, my childhood experiences, or having the opportunity to have dinner with my family, it's something I missed a lot. That would be my downtime. My other downtime is I have a lot of businesswomen friends. I believe in the power of supporting women in business. So we're constantly having dinners, high teas, lunches, um, to help each other in business, open our networks and support. And I enjoy that because I enjoy being around like-minded, positive, um, inspirational people. You've achieved so much in such a small space of time. Where to from here? I'm a solidly passionate African entrepreneur. I believe that Africa is the place to be. And I am aiming for a master's with an MBA to actually lecture. You know, I want to become a professor in social entrepreneurship. And it's very simple solutions. People don't even know that solutions are right under you. Those are the entrepreneurs that make change in our country, the ones that live with the problem and create the change. And I want to 
show people that social entrepreneurship, you can make money out of it. You don't have to operate in a non-profit space. And finally, what advice do you have for aspiring entrepreneurs? I always say that if you believe that you own something in this country, that this country owes you something, you must change that mindset very quickly. There are 1,000 people knocking on the same door that you're knocking on. Many young South Africans are already experiencing the positive impact of Ramona's commitment. Ramona isn't just an entrepreneur who sells her products. She helps young women claim their dignity and build a future. And you definitely cannot put a price on that.